Here we are in Grand Bayou, Louisiana, uh, way down in the bayou, uh, just about a mile from where the oil is. Here's a community of people who earn their livelihood from the sea, from oysters. We must have passed a half a dozen or more oyster, uh, oyster boats out there with oystermen, really uh, trying to take advantage of the moment before the oil arrives. It's a community of people. We had uh, time to talk with many local activists who are concerned about the threat to their livelihood they want information, they want information on how their communities are going to be protected, what the environmental impacts on the oysters, on the seabed are going to be, how dispersants affect the oysters, which are the basis of their livelihood. So there are lots of concerns in this community for how this spill is affecting them today and what will happen tomorrow. And there are tremendous unknowns. They're not getting adequate information from the state. They don't feel that their voices are being heard, that the concerns of the way they have lived their lives for generations are really um, of top concern to the local officials who are dealing with this spill. So this has been an amazing opportunity to both see how people live in these communities, how they withstand Katrina, how they cope with the spill that is really on the horizon, and how they consider the threat to their long-term well-being. It's pretty scary for them. And, you know, we at NRDC are going to do whatever we can to really provide them assistance with information and access to information and take their story much more broadly so that people can understand how this affects people on the ground. Thank you.